What I wanna do in this video is give you a couple tips on saving money. This is gonna be specifically for those of you that are not good at saving money. Maybe some of these tips and tricks will help you out. So number one is going to be clarity. So let's write that down. You want to be clear. So you need to understand your end results, basically your goals. Now we're gonna have a couple worksheets for you throughout the course. We're gonna be going over step by step how to build your own portfolio. A lot of that has to do with being clear. If you don't know what your destination is when investing into cryptos, you're gonna have a very difficult time being able to hit certain marks. Now, if you're starting out with $100 and you wanna turn it into 1,000, maybe that's your ideal goal. You have to have a plan. So you have to have some clarity. Um, and when it comes to assessing risk, maybe Bitcoin isn't gonna be the best vehicle for you to get there. And maybe it's gonna take you a little more time because you have to remember as well, if you want to turn $100 into 1,000, you have to 10X your money. And you also have to do it in a way where you're not losing your money because then you're going backwards, right? So you wanna make sure that you're driving the speed limit, so to speak, and especially as a beginner, you are going to make some mistakes, but that's okay, okay? So number one is going to be clarity. Make sure that you understand the risks associated to investing, but make sure that you're clear and you write it down. Even right now, if you can write down everything that we're going over, it's gonna help you out a lot. The second one is very important. That is going to be your income versus expenses. So your in versus your out. So if you're making $5,000 a month, okay, but you're spending 5,000, you're not gonna be able to save any money. You don't have to make $100,000 a year to invest in cryptos. You don't even have to make $50,000 a year. What you do need is money left over. You need to either bring up your income or bring down your expenses. And I highly recommend doing both. So basically I brought up my income and I lowered my expenses. Now, what I can do is utilize my income to expense ratio, but it's gonna be very difficult if all that money that you're making has to go to you know, furniture or buying a new house, buying all these liabilities. A liability is something that takes money out versus puts money in, okay? An asset will be something that pays you out. So when you own these cryptocurrencies, you wanna get assets, you don't wanna get liabilities. You don't wanna own Bitcoin if it's just gonna go down in price. So income versus expense, make sure that you bring up your income, lower your expenses. If you can do both, it's always better. And you don't need that much. You just need to have a clear vision. And in this course, I'm gonna show you ways that you can build your cryptocurrency wealth and grow passive income, even if you only have $100 or less, it doesn't matter. Now, the final one will be spare change. What really helped me out when I first began investing was seeing my money and understanding the value of it. You have to remember as well, money thinks nothing of you, money doesn't care. So we should even write that down, spare change, this money, it doesn't care about you. You have to remember emotion, okay? So when you're investing, the money doesn't think anything of you. You have to respect money. So I'll even write that down. Okay, again, money is just a vector for transmitting wealth. If you don't respect money, it's not going to be there in the future. What I did when I first started to save my first thousand dollars I literally would save quarters, dimes, and nickels, and then accumulate. So then I could see exactly what I'm doing. One thing I also recommend is if you're paying rent, if you have expensive payments, like even for me, I've got a car payment, I've got to pay my office, you know, I pay for food, gas, all that stuff. Take out 500 bucks to 1,000 bucks and look at it. And understand that, hey, is it worth me getting rid of $500 so I can go party? I remember when I had to pay $2,000 to pay for a big business expense, I actually took out the cash and I remember looking at it and thinking to myself, that's a lot of money. A lot of times we're using our debit cards, credit cards, whatever it may be, maybe things you shouldn't be doing. And 
it doesn't really hit you till you see it for the first time or you experience it in a different way. I want you to look at money different. Just remember, unless you take out some emotion and respect money, it's gonna be very difficult for you to save it, okay? And $100 adds up. If you save $100 for an entire year, you're gonna have, what, 1,200 bucks? You could take that, put on a stable coin over 30 years, you can grow that into something serious. So I just wanted to give some tips on saving some money. You have to first believe that you can do it. So again, get clarity, create goals, write it down. Please write this down. Follow these three key steps if you have difficulty saving money. If you're already good at saving money, that's great. I recommend saving as much as you can, even if it's only 5%, 10% of what you're making every month. So that's all I have for you in this video. We will see you in the next one.